this is a unique label and today i'll be talking to you guys about flowpath so let's get down to business so i'm gonna go to curve and create my curve and just um scale it up so i'm gonna scale it up and uh, i'm gonna go to phrase and type click on the type it loads so i'll um, type that um a unique label that is what i'm gonna use Junko label and that is my name so um let me um kind of quickly um tweak this so i'm gonna go to tweak to and or even type extrude and reduce the um the distance to like so i hope you can see what i'm doing right here so like something like so and go back to to reduce the um the size i'm gonna look for the font size and just to something so i think that is cool so i'm gonna click um just get away so um i'll click this shift you select the object the type first and shift select the curve and you're gonna go to um under animation menu you go to constraints and look for motion path click on the motion path attach to motion path click that so i have that so like so hopes this is um so much so i'm gonna undo this and increase the time slide to the time slider to 300 i hope so i'm going to do the same thing again go to motion path and just select attach to motion path attach attach to like so so the speed should reduce now yes I, i'm good to go now so let's go back to the first place and look for um select this again shift select the curve once again and go to constraint again so um click on motion path but instead of the attach that we played before you click on the flow path object option so go there now here um the division front you use 100 and come down to on that local effect check it if it's not checked and the lattice around should be around the curve that is the meaning of this don't use around the object use around the curve so the local effect change it to five um hop and side five five and just flow so we have this but this is ugly so it's trying to just um excuse itself to um, the, the curve so we need to select something so we we'll go to the um windows and look for the outliner so we have the outliner here so we have the lattice and the base you select the lattice shift select the base and just scale everything up that type will just um go into the lattice so scale them together so we have the like so this is what we are looking for can I quickly try something? What if I yes, 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 yes? I love this. The next thing now is just to play it again, and there I have a very good animation over here. This is a new colibri. This is a new colibri. So we can add um some effect to this. Oh, don't bother about the back. What is happening back here? Because we're gonna be using this long. Oops, this. All I need is this. So uh, the back one is not gonna show. So this is what I need. So um, let's add a little bit of effect to this. So I'm gonna click on. Is it I selected here? But it's always good to go here and select this, this, um, uh, the lattice, and I'm gonna go to right click on that and go to lattice point. So you see lattice point right here. So I'm gonna go to the top view so that I can see my point clearly. And this is where I need the effect to occur. Something like here, not too big. Select this, let everything run. So I'm gonna come to this side and just scale that up. Probably I might um, change something, like make it look like this. It's like so. So I'm just gonna um, scale it up to like so and play. Go to the first frame back and now play. So see the effect, see that effect. That is what I really want. That is what I really want. So um, what should I do now? I wanna just, uh, let me stop it here. 
and go for let's go to rendering and create my light directional lights i love directional lights so let me make it to like something like so and i'm gonna uh, uh, create point light let me use that and bring it up so we might later need to increase the um, intensity but let me go and create my um, plane and scale it up to something like so so that this guy right here will always be working will only be um, um, moving around the plane so uh, I'm just gonna use IPR and see something so this is what I have right here don't mind my type right here you can do your own in a cool way so it's just the type the fonts the style and the lights that i use that is having this issue right here so that is um exactly what i wanted to show to you guys and this is cool i hope you love this and please if not subscribe before please try to subscribe so i'm gonna um just um patch render is actually you can't patch render you can only um if you're going to be using Hanot, let me click talk about this. Um, let's go to JPEG and probably we can use. Um, let's use the perspective as the rendering camera. Yes, this place. Um, name the pad and the extension. That is cool. Let's use that. It's just three pad. So um, from one to probably let me start from. Let's see where I'm gonna start it from. From sixty. Let's Start from 60 from 60 to when it passes away to yeah to 170 from 60 to 170 so that is what we are gonna be rendering so I'm gonna close this and go to my um, rendering render menu and look for render and instead of batch rendering you're gonna use render sequence click on that so you can have 60 to 170 right here and that is okay so just render sequence and close and note this for this guy right here the moment you um, render you're not going to be able to do anything again not like the batch rendering that you keep rendering and keep uh, working on your scene so this is not um that is not applicable for this um type of rendering notice you can't render with the batch rendering no you can do that you can only do um do this one use this um render sequence so i'm just gonna render sequence and before i render let me set where i wanted to render it to just set and new folder just um flow path yeah okay and set yes the thoughts so render sequence so it's rendering now so you can't do anything watch it you can't do anything here so um thank you guys for watching this tutorial i really love you guys and um please if not subscribe before please try and do so so that we can enjoy ourselves uh with updates on more videos so um and you could is saying again that we shall be meeting again in peace and not in pieces so guys bye bye peace out